What's going on everybody, it's Daniel here from Glisco and today we got the Form 3 directly from Form Labs right here in our office. We're gonna be doing a small review and a little bit of a test on this machine. Let's see how it goes. Beautiful. I like it. I like it. So the Form Labs 3 is an SLA resin printer, similar to FDM 3D printing, where you could upload a model and 3D print what you would like. But the cool thing is, it actually uses a laser to cure the resin onto a build surface. And it really produces high quality parts, much different than you see from FDM printing. Normally, we would use this for something like practical. We would use it for a mount or something that we're actually gonna use in our store. But today I wanted to print something a little more fun. This is a Stormtrooper type model. So we took this um, exact model because it's just a little fun little print and we could show off this, the detail of this type of printer. You could see here that we they have an auto generate feature which generates um, support within your model, and you could edit these manually if you do want to remove or add more support in different areas. So at Glisco, we do a lot of mounting products. We mount PS5s, we mount Nintendos, we mount the PS4s, Xbox, and virtual reality equipment as well. A lot of our stuff is 3D printed, so we use a lot of FDM 3D prints. The reason we're getting this machine is because we want to produce higher quality parts. An FDM 3D printer is very good and there are very strong prints you could get out of it, but the, the biggest flaw in my opinion is the quality that you're getting out of it. Our idea for this specific machine is to produce a high quality prototype and then we produce it with injection molding or a higher form of manufacturing. And the biggest difference between the two technologies is how crisp and clean a resin print comes out versus FDM. You can really see those layer lines. With resin uh, printing, you, can, you can't really see those layer lines. So we're gonna open this up. And you don't wanna leave this open for too long. When the print comes off, it still has a lot of residual resin on it. So that's why they have this outer shell here that blocks out the UV light. The thing I really like about this warm printer is the ecosystem that they have. So we're gonna pull this right off and you could see how crisp and clean this is looking right off there when we do put it through the wash you're going to see it's going to be looking better there's a lot of residual resin all over this it looks really sticky just slide it right into this special machine here and you press start and this thing is going to dip down into the ipa and it's going to go ahead and wash your part for about 30 minutes or whatever time you want it to wash depending on what type of print you're running So you got a little door that opens up in the back here on both sides. One side here, it holds some spatula tweezers and the uh, saturation tool. And over here, we got some snips or side cutters and uh, call it the pop-off tool. They have this cool little stand for the build platform that you could actually slide inside. And then now you could grip the platform and release your print right off of it. You're gonna take your tool, you're gonna slightly pry it off your model, pry around multiple edges depending on um, depending on what you have. In this case, okay, there you go, it just pops right off. And we're gonna pop this right back into the machine, ready for the next print. So after you take your print out of the wash station, you want to let it dry for about 15, 20 minutes. It lifts automatically, which is really cool. And you could just let the print sit there for about 20 minutes and it'll dry and make sure all that IPA evaporates. So after you take it out of the wash station, you're going to go ahead and put it inside the curing machine. What it's going to do is it's actually going to shine UV light and heat up your model so it makes it hard. We'll go ahead and put this in here. And the thing I like about this station is it heats up, like I said, and also this, this turns, and there's a UV light on the bottom of the station as well that gets uh, light up in the, at the bottom of your model. And this also has like a cool reflective uh, kind of film on the outside, which is really gonna get UV light all over your model in a uniform way. 
The one issue I would say with the Form Labs is the speed and the resin cost. If you're doing something like jewelry and you only print like one-off parts for your molds, that could be uh, an option. If you're looking for something that can produce strong, uh, reliable, consistent parts, the Form Labs uh, 3 or any of the Form Labs lines are definitely a, a printer you want to consider.